Spice Flex. Hey guys, it's always a big good you and you and a hoo them Duke boys to each of y'all. We call it Spicy Friday and they are a blast to get together and get ready for y'all. And I'm glad you're here. Thanks for being a part of this. Y'all are so supportive of this show. So thank you. It's always fun. If you've never seen one, it's a little weird. It's always fun, but usually a little on the weird side. Round up from around the web of all week long. Things y'all have sent me. A few that I found out there on my own. Your job. Let me know down below what your favorite one is. My job is to save my favorite one till the end. And oh, I have done it. I've been giggling about this one for days. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, we'll see. I usually kind of do a prediction. I'm going to call today a base hit. I think I have 30, 30 for you today. Sometimes we squeak up to 40. got 30. Solid 30. Solid base hit. A little spice, a little dad humor, and some oh, as well. Yeah, you be the judge. Buckle up. Here we go. Hey, do you want to be supportive of a great channel? Blackout Coffee Company. Y'all know Jared's one of the owners. And it's a fantastic, not just a great coffee, but also supporting some good folks. So Blackout Coffee, coupon code right down below. Go get you some caffeine. Support some great people that love America as well. Also, these available. Thank y'all for just jumping on these. Really, it's been really, really cool. It's been very supportive. So thank you. Thank you for every thumbs up. Y'all are awesome. Last thing. No mailbox today. I did a big, big, big mailbox last week. A lot of y'all did not watch it. I understand that. Not everybody's into that. Oh my gosh, OMG. This one came in and I just wanted to show it. And I didn't realize this. I mean, this is a Realek Roscoe signed by James Best himself, Roscoe and Flash. <laughs> Velvet ears. James Best, Roscoe, signed on there. I love it. This is a fantastic poster. I'm going to get it framed. Here's the part that I did not realize. This came in from Hickory, North Carolina. Dorothy, call your best. Oh my gosh, I did not realize. That's his wife, Roscoe's wife, James Best's wife. Wow. So to Dorothy, thank you. Oh my gosh. A lot of folks didn't get to see this last week, but maybe, maybe the coolest thing I've ever gotten in the mail. Maybe the coolest. It's really, really cool. Dorothy, thank you. Awesome. To that I say, <laughs> good you, you. Hot pursuit, hot pursuit. Y'all ready? Let me get signed back in here. Kids, after the drama llama runs, you're out of here. We're switching over to PG-11. <laughs> Next. Oh, we're ready. We're doing it. Shathid Steve says this. Floridians preparing for Hurricane Ian. <laughs> Got the 12-gauge out. Florida's a crazy place, like the Wild West. Next. I showed this one over on the War Poet Network uh, today on today's episode over there. The deli guy, uh, would you like your ham sliced regular or thick? Me. <sighs> thick. <laughs> Next. White people, as soon as one leaf hits the ground. It's, it's what they do. Maybe it's what, I should say what we do. I don't know. I don't know what she, you know, she's the one that drove this pick. I don't know. I don't know what she gets out of that. Odd. Next. Bueller. Bueller, anyone, Jackie, Jackie, where's Jackie? If you didn't see that, Jackie passed away a while back and Biden called for her from the podium multiple times. Where's Jackie? He has the nuclear codes. Next. The reason Mayberry was so peaceful and quiet was because nobody was married. Andy, Aunt B. Barney, Floyd, Howard, Goober, Gomer, Sam, Ernest T, <laughs> Helen, Thelma Lou, Clara, and of course, Opie were all single. The only married person was Otis, and he stayed drunk. That's not an indictment against marriage, y'all. Calm down. It's just funny. It's just funny. Next. Did y'all see that Miami kick last week? Joe Biden. Build back better. Pow! In the pooper. Inflation. <laughs> Funk. Yeah. This is the one that goes, oh, next. When your wife tells you that you need to stop golfing so much. Oh. I don't know what's worse, the theme of this or that somebody typed your with an apostrophe and an extra E or an E. It's not good. Some moron typed that. It's funny. Moron. Speaking of, oh, next. Jeff, Jeff, no power tools.
You want to go in the garage and do karate? Yep. <laughs> Next. Rad Dad says this, speaking of fall, tips to enjoy pumpkin beer. Step one, pour it down the drain. Mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. I don't know if I've ever had a good one. I don't know if I've ever had a bad one. I don't know. Mixed feelings. Next. Speaking of alcohol. My liver. Wondering if he's going to be able to survive another weekend of liquor and fast food. What'd that little critter say? On the belt of Orion, maybe? Maybe. Next. People grieving after a natural disaster. Hmm. Dems. Explaining that they didn't take climate change seriously. They will profit off of the, the, what's going on in the last 48 hours. They will profit off of it, and they will do their best. It's organized. They are an organized scam, organized crime, the DNC. Next, Florida right now. The Dems. What are Ian's pronouns? It's true. It's true. <laughs> Next. Uh, this is a real headline. Decomposing human remains can legally be used as compost from 2027 thanks to new California law aimed at tackling climate change. Hillary. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, this is the one. This is the one I've been giggling about. Next. All right, this is true. This is real. Just in, U.S. President Biden meets Pakistan. Sharif at a reception hosted by the POTUS. And Jill shows up in that, like it's the Matrix. That's not Photoshop, that's real. Oh geez, I love this, I love this, I love this. Almost went to number one. I think it's funny, next. <laughs> it's funny, but Jill, on a hefty, on a hefty, <laughs> hefty package. Oh geez, that's good. Oh, whoever did that, props to you. I love it. How much? Drama Lama Go! All right. Kids, we're saying night to y'all. Love y'all. Go read a book. We love you. Go to your rooms. Read a book. <laughs> Parents, we ready to go? Ready, ready? Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. PG-11, ready? Next. <laughs> The wheels on the shopping cart be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> that one's baffling. I have some leftist friends, and, and every time I say that, people get so mad. Johnny, how could you be friends with the enemy? I don't know, like 90% of things, we want the same thing. Like we want clean roads and or straight roads, flat roads, good drinking water. We want safety in our schools. We want a lot of different things. How we get those things, we can talk about, but we want the same thing. We got a lot more in common than we have, than we have different. And I think the whole idea of OMG, you can't talk to those people, that is driven by the media and by politicians or Americans. Although most of the DNC are a bunch of morons. And we've been talking about this teacher up in Canada and, and really interesting conversations because my friends are like, why? Why are they standing behind him? Next, the Pacific. Florida Dems prep for the hurricane by exploring ways to, ways to blame DeSantis. Oh, yeah, they've been doing it. They've been going all, uh, all upset at him. This next one makes me go, ooh, but it's funny. Next. Six-year-old didn't cause parents divorce, but didn't exactly step up to prevent it either. <laughs> Poor girl in her face. Oh, it wasn't, it's not your fault, baby, but it's not not your fault. Yes, I know that's ugly talk. I know, I know, I know. Next. This is real. It's from uh, the first part. It's from Houston. Did y'all see that? A box of M16 weapons shipped to couples home. They ordered, if you didn't see this, they ordered a bunch of those of those, those green containers from, for, they're just plastic containers, and a couple of the containers were not empty. Loaded down with fully auto M16s. The meme is, Jesus, I see what you've done for other people, and I want that for me. Can I get an amen in the comment section? Oh, amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I agree. Hallelujah. Just reach out towards that TV screen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Next. Not a meme. This is real. Representative Paul says this. Uh, back home, Americans have lost everything due to Hurricane Ian. The border's open. Fentanyl's killing hundreds of thousands and inflation is raging. Yet the left and the establishment right just voted to send another $12 billion to Ukraine. Hmm? 
This is like more America last policy. It's real. It's real. Next. They're in heaven. It's all over with. Uh, I refuse to wear my hijab, so a crowd beat me to death. Mm -hmm, girl, someone called me by the wrong pronouns. So I know exactly how you feel, girl. We're the same. It's a little spicy meatball, isn't it? Got more. More coming. A little bit more. Next. Let's go to the B. Biden vows next hurricane to hit U.S. will be named after a woman of color. My pick for favorite of the week. Let me know down below what your favorite one is. Oh, I've been giggling about this one for days. Whoever made this. Oh, geez. I don't know who made it. I couldn't find it. I love it. Thanks for being here. Here we go. Next. <laughs> Pronouns are fee fi fo bum. <laughs> <laughs> 